All right, Deadpool, Wolverine. Y'all didn't catch my video about Robert Downey Jr. becoming Doctor Doom. I said I haven't seen Deadpool and Wolverine yet. So I can't necessarily judge on what the narrative could be for Marvel with the MCU moving forward. Uh, but now that I've seen Deadpool, I can kind of unpack those thoughts and maybe just maybe just a little bit it might positively impact how i approach this uh review here but yeah before we get into this please do not forget to like comment subscribe as we go throughout this review if there's any topic that i didn't get to cover please let me know in the comment section would we'll love to maybe talk about it in a different video if not this video and yeah let's get into it yeah so i just watched deadpool and wolverine today and as you know if any of you, if any of y'all really know nope. me, y'all know I love DC. But another thing I love is, eh, I want to say I love it, but I've always had an appreciation for the Fox Marvel Universe. Always an appreciation for it. And never ever got to reach its full potential, which is very disappointing. But before we get to even talking about that, let's just start it off. So yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine is essentially about Deadpool has to has a task task. I don't want to give up too many spoilers, but I'm gonna keep it like really light on the plot right now because I think it's going to get into heavy spoilers. But as you know, the film is called Deadpool and Wolverine, Deadpool and Wolverine team up essentially to I, you could say stop the TVA. You could say stop the TVA for one and yeah, be able to be the heroes that they need to be basically. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it. So you start off the movie with Deadpool kind of just figuring out what he's going to do with his life now after everything right after I would say after the events of the post credit scene in Deadpool 2 where Deadpool essentially makes all these changes within the timeline because of Cable's time machine and who I want to huh, I almost talked about one spoiler I can't can't do it yet but basically Deadpool is seeking a higher purpose essentially and it's funny because it's Deadpool Deadpool is not necessarily a uh, I always look at Deadpool as an anti-hero to be honest so it's very interesting to see him go through this sort of arc or changing character where he does want to have a higher purpose with his life and the motivator for that higher purpose was his girl but yeah, so Deadpool is seeking a higher purpose in his life, and that higher purpose leads him to come across the TVA. And essentially, in order for him to do what the TVA needs him to do, he believes that he needs to seek out a Wolverine. As you know, Deadpool is in the Fox Marvel Universe. I'll call it that. I believe their Earth number is Earth 10 zero 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 five or but the fox marvel universe and essentially you know logan wolverine he died he died in logan that was like seven years ago that that happened actually i believe and yeah so he's seeking out a wolverine and you get to see some interesting things along the way throughout the entire movie there's a whole bunch of fun cameos with that when it comes to Deadpool finding his Wolverine. There's a really, oh, there's them cameos. Is, oh, oh, there's a lot of Wolverine cameos. I say that for sure. That ain't no spoiler. It's going to be Wolverine cameos for sure. There is one that people were talking about that I'm actually surprised I didn't see, or I, I'm surprised they didn't go with this specific actor for this cameo. But hey, it is what it is. We got to be back. In my opinion, I got a better cameo because there's <laughs> another actor of mine that I really, really fuck with. He, uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, yeah, he did his thing. He did his thing. So, yeah, uh, Deadpool finds his Wolverine and essentially brings him back to the TVA and they go on their journey. I think I mentioned in the uh, video yesterday with uh, Robert Downey Jr. that essentially I haven't watched any of the trailers really. I watched like maybe a te the teaser trailer, the initial one. Um, but then after that, I'm like, I'm good. Because at the end of the day, the way my, my the way my comic book like media nerd brain goes off, I'm gonna I'm this trailers really spoil trailers really spoil the film for me, honestly. They really do. Because I know what I know and I'm good at jumping to conclusions. And in all honesty, I'm glad I didn't. 
I can say this is the first time in a while where I could just sit back, relax. My heart wasn't pounding. It wasn't racing. I just was chill. Just watching, just watching a movie, watching good cinema. Oh my goodness. It just, it was so good. So good. But yeah, so they go on their journey and then they run across a, they run across the antagonist, Cassandra Nova. Cassandra Nova happens to be Charles Xavier's sister whom he killed in the womb. Um, but this Cassandra Nova is not Charles's Cassandra. It's not Jane McAvoy's or Patrick Stewart's, you know, Cassandra Nova, Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's the antagonist and she's the villain. You know, the villains, they be having their henchmen. The henchmen, oh my goodness. Oh, so many spoilers. But all I can say without getting into spoilers is Fox Marvel. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. If I spoil this entire video for you. Brother, this guy stinks. Oh, well, keep watching, though. Keep watching, though. It's going to get better. I promise you. I promise you. And yeah, so they go through that entire just journey and trying to figure out what they can. What can they do to stop Cassandra Nova? Because Cassandra Nova is basically just like Charles Xavier in a way. She has psychic abilities except she can like she has to touch you in order to use her abilities in a way but she also it seems like she has like some telekinetic abilities too she was crazy like she was crazy strong a very very formidable a very very formidable villain in my opinion it's just out the actress who played her oh my gosh she just she bodied she bodied that and i don't know shit about this character i don't know how she is in the comics but to be honest if i was a comic book reader like that this will prompt me to want to read a comic about her or at least learn some more backstory about her because she was a very interesting character to watch but as deadpool and wolverine are essentially in the uh they end up in the void the void if you know about the void and loki and so that's where they're at that's where cassandra nova is at deadpool and wolverine are there and essentially they're just trying to figure out how to get back to the tva because they're approved um, like I said, I'm trying not to get into too much spoiler territory here. I'm trying my best right now. I'm trying my best. Go easy on me. But yeah, so they're in the void going on this journey, trying to figure out, okay, if we mess with Cassandra Nova, she's going to kill us essentially. Tell me y'all, she's like that. She's like that. Mind you, Deadpool and Wolverine both have... Uh, both have healing factor abilities. Deadpool regenerates. Wolverine just heals really, really fast. Plus, he has adamantium bones. He has his claws. But brute strength ain't gonna stop Cassandra Nova. You literally would have to have like Charles Xavier's helmet, or maybe like the Juggernaut's helmet, or something like that, or like Magneto's helmet, in order to protect yourself from her psychic abilities, essentially. And so. They're trying to figure shit out. They're like, what the fuck do we do? This woman is crazy strong. We have to worry about, I think it's called Eliath, which is like a monster that essentially swallows up anything within the void to kind of clean it out almost in a way so that it doesn't get overwhelmed with a bunch of people, items, objects, all this stuff essentially within the void. And so they kind of, they kind of stumble onto they stumble onto a car along the way and essentially they end up kind of building a team. They, that's all I can say. They end up building a team. They find some other heroes, I'd say, heroes I'd like to say. And I think when we get into the spoiler territory, y'all are gonna really, really, really enjoy this. Oh my gosh, thank God this is recording still. I'm sorry, sometimes I've had like recording sessions where I just start talking and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not recording. I literally just body this review and I'm not recording right now. I am, I'm sorry. I just had to put that in there just to keep y'all attention, keep y'all on your toes. But yeah, so they formed their team and we still don't necessarily know this Wolverine's backstory that Deadpool has recruited. Once the team is formed, I would say that's kind of where you get to get some more of Wolverine's backstory and kind of a more motivation. And the way they did it was honestly perfect. It was perfect because he didn't share his backstory with no one else besides this one individual. Okay, two individuals in the story, but this main one, really important, really important. 
really impactful, honestly. It was like, there's so many times within this film that it's so subtle and it feels more self-contained. I don't know if this is more so Kevin Feige's influence playing within the movie, because while this movie is a Deadpool movie, there are certain things like Devil's Danger. If you can't have that in, this, in a Disney movie, at least that's what Deadpool said. That ain't no spoiler. There's it literally nothing. There's, there's no spoiler, honestly. It's really not. And yeah, back to what I was talking about, though. Yeah, overall, like the film just it has it, it it's been it's felt like just a natural progression. It doesn't feel like this is a Deadpool movie and something crazy is going to happen in Deadpool 2 or or how things happen in Deadpool 1. Personally, I like Deadpool 1 over 2. We're going to find out which one is at the top now for me after we finish this review. And yeah, yeah, I just wanted to leave that little piece, that little tidbit piece right there. And yeah, so so now everyone is together and they're ready to fight Cassandra Nova. You don't really like in my mind, I'm kind of like, OK, none of y'all necessarily have the ability to stop her, but they do have a strategy, though. And I was the team that they have is a I'd say it's a pretty formidable team. It has at least like two Two, besides Deadpool and Wolverine, at least two other people on that team that like I am fan of for sure. Cause y'all know I love. I'm gonna save this for the <laughs> I'm gonna save this for the spoiler. I'm gonna save this for the spoiler review. I'm gonna save it for the spoiler review. <clears throat> but yeah, so they all get together and they head over to Cassandra's Cassandra's base again and they get it done. One thing I'll say too is this movie uses a lot of music, a lot of music. I don't know if it was just a stereo system in the movie theater or what, but they used a lot of music. And while I was for it, I sometimes maybe felt like the music might have drowned out the experience in a way, kind of like when you're playing video games and or like like for me, when I was in high school, if I was like super mad pissed off, I'm putting on Pandora radio, Linkin Park radio. And just putting it putting in my headphones playing call of duty black Ops zombies for hours i don't care but it kind of felt like that whereas like it wasn't inappropriately placed music but it still kind of felt like oh this is a bit much i don't i don't i, I don't know that's just a nitpick here that's a nitpick here but yeah the squad deadpool wolverine and the rest of the team they do what they need to do they do what they need to do and and this is where you get to the point in the movie where you do get to see Wolverine kind of talk even more about his backstory with another character. And yeah, let's just say they defeated Cassandra, you know, or at least at least, you know, they did what they needed to do and they got up out of there. They got up out of the void and yeah, they stopped the TVA and save the day and everyone lives happily ever after genuinely like genuinely um that's pretty much a review damn that's 15 minutes wow that was a 15 minute review right there Shit. um this is probably gonna be a separate video then the video that's pretty much the movie honestly before i get into the spoilers very very solid movie um solid not even solid i want to watch this movie again it's been so long that i just like just turned off my brain and I think the thing is, too, is like the MCU has beaten, at least me personally, my personal experience as an MCU fan after 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 the films and the shows that dropped after Endgame. Um, it's 50 50. I just call it for the most part, it's been mid. It has a few highlights here and there. Um, it's got like maybe a hand, a handful of highlights here and there. But like, yeah. Marvel has really beaten me to the point where it's like, I'm not assuming nothing when I go into these movies. I don't want to watch the trailers, really. I'll watch like a teaser trailer, that's it. And then after that, I just want to get in the seat. Like when you were a kid and you didn't know anything about a movie, you just, hey, I'm going to go see Spider-Man for the first time. And just that's the best way I can describe it. It felt like a fresh new experience, a very, a very, very refreshing experience. There's nothing like they... It, they did what they needed to do. They did what they needed to do. And that's where I'll say that after having watched this 
and getting that news about Robert Downey Jr. Potentially, Disney might be going through a redemption arc with the MCU, at least. So the MCU might be going through a redemption arc now. Um, if y'all enjoyed this review, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section, honestly, genuinely. Have you seen the movie? Have you not seen the movie? If you're watching this review to know whether or not you should watch this movie, let me know. Please, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. But yeah, peace.